Hey y'all, what's up? What's going on? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are putting two concealers to the test. The Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer. I talked about this in my fall haul. I've been using it and trying it out. And the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This has been around for a minute now. I know they, not most recently, but they dropped some darker and deeper shades. And I was like, you know what? I've never tried this. Well, I've been testing it out, but I had never tried it till about two weeks ago. So I'm wondering if maybe this is a dupe for this and then you'll also hear my thoughts on both of these concealers because your girl got some thoughts. So let's start off first with the Charlotte Tilbury. It is $30 and it comes with this little soft tip here which eh, I'm not the biggest fan of but that's just one thing that's just my preference and then you just kind of twist it up here I will say to first get this going I had to twist and 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 twist it was a little bit annoying so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna start off with this one on my right eye I already have a little bit of eyeshadow on using the ABH prism palette because I feel like this palette was slept on big time and it's just a fun holiday palette came out last year zoom you in all right, my shade is in tan 11. I had to purchase this online. I won't sure what shade I was, so I just happened to get lucky with this one. So we're gonna go ahead and I feel like it is a little bit lighter, but it does blend out fairly easy, so. I feel like the component of it, it's a little messy too. Like when you twist and you start putting the concealer on, I feel like sometimes it just kind of spills over. And I am just stamping this on. Then taking a Real Techniques concealer brush and I'm just going to go ahead and start patting this and blending it out. Now the consistency for this, it's not a super, super matte, but it does dry down. It's not anything to where you have to blend it super, super quick like the All Nighter Concealer. It's not like that. It is brightening and it does give you a full coverage. Oh God, it's a little bit too much. A little bit is going to take you a long way. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out the outside of this. So that is what we're looking like so far. Charlotte Tilbury on this side. Then I'm gonna wipe off my concealer brush, clean that up real quick. Now we're going to go in with the Maybelline side here, the Instant Age Rewind. Same gist, it has that soft sponge tip. And this is coming in at a whopping, I wanna say maybe nine, ten dollars Not super, super expensive whatsoever. And I got mine in the shade Caramel. The shade above it was just a little bit too dark for the under eye area. So we're gonna pat this on. This looks definitely like a NC45 shade to me. And the smell. So it smells weird. And I'm just going to pat this on. Then same thing, taking a Real Techniques concealer brush, already cleaned it off. And we're gonna do the same thing. And with this one, a little bit does go a long, long way. And I feel like the Instant Age Rewind it dries down way faster than the Charlotte Tilbury does. So you gotta work a little bit faster. As you can see, the shade, obviously, this side, the um, Maybelline side, is just a tish bit, just a tish bit lighter. Let me go ahead, flip over my sponge, and go on the outsides. Now the coverage here is good, but I do feel like once I start like if I over blend it, I felt like it got a little bit patchy, like it started lifting up. Like I feel like right here in my hollow, once I started blending out, it lifted up some of the product. So I need to go back in and just focus a little bit more. Lay that down. There we go. All right, so Charlotte Tilbury, 
on this side, Maybelline on this side. Neither one of these have been set. They both dry down. Maybelline dries down a little bit faster. I felt like you have to be careful because it can lift and get a touch patchy on you. Well, that's just what it did on me. It did that the past couple of times I've been testing out as well. Didn't have that issue with um, Charlotte Tilbury. Um, as far as creasing, I feel like if you're a human being alive with the pulse, no matter what, it's going to budge around a little bit, especially if you do have any fine lines. And I have a few fine lines and it is definitely settling in there, but that's not anything I get too, too upset about. It's just a matter of when it gets exaggerated and looks textured and patchy. Like when I was testing out the Huda concealer, that I felt like it aged me dramatically. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set it with the Laura Mercy A Secret Blurring Powder. I don't wanna set it with any loose powder simply because these are a little bit more of a dry down, mattifying concealers. And I feel like if I put loose powder on top of it, sometimes it can make it look a little bit more patchy. Year. So taking a Real Techniques setting brush, we're gonna just pat. I don't know what's going on. I had a little pimple here, and I guess it's not gone all the way, but it gets, it looks like a patchy spot on my eye. All right, so under eye area is set. I'm gonna go ahead, throw on some powder foundation, and then we'll talk about these concealers. Are they worth it? Are they dupes? What's up? I'll be right back. Back! Okay, finish up the rest of my makeup here. Y'all know I am obsessed with brown tone lippies. You're probably tired of seeing me wear them, but I would say I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not really sorry because I love them that much. But um, for today's lip, I am using, where'd it go? Oh shoot, hold please. I put it back in its home. For today's lippy, I am rocking Bite Beauty French Press Gloss in the shade French Press. Stunning! Love, love, love. All right, so let's talk about this concealer. Can I get a drum roll, please? So on the right side, we've got Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away. Left side, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Now let's quickly talk about how these bad boys wear. When I was wearing both of them, I did not notice anything. There wasn't anything where I was like, oh my gosh, where it was breaking up, it didn't make me look textured, didn't make me look patchy, I didn't notice anything funky going on, the color did remain the same throughout the entire day. Now, next up, are these dupes? Yes or no? 100% I think these are dupes. Now, of course, this isn't going to be 100% like this because it is higher end. It's Charlotte Tilbury, darling, she's fabulous. However, this one applies, but it might skip, it might get a little bit patchy on you while you're blending it out, so you might have to go over top of it again. But the thing is, when I did layer back over it, it wasn't an issue. Now, as far as would I recommend these, okay, they're not bad. However, me personally, I would not recommend this just simply because I was not wowed by it. And honestly, guys, for $32 for a concealer, if that's how much I'm gonna have to pay for it, it better wow me. And it just simply did not wow me. So for that reason, I am not gonna recommend it to you because I wasn't wowed and I'm going to be returning it because like I said, at $32, you better show me something. Again, not a bad concealer. I just feel like I'm a concealer snob. I love concealers and I can think of three off the top of my head that I feel like are way better than this one. Now, if you're looking for something that's kind of like it, you're looking for a dupe, this is a dupe. Just keep in mind, of course, it's not going to be 100% like this, but it's really, really close to it. All right, guys? So that is going to wrap up my thoughts on these two concealers. Let me know down below if you have tried either one of them. I want to hear your thoughts. Did you like it? Did you not? Did it work? You guys know the deal. Keep it simple, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.